black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Mac attack. We're having a Mac attack. Though it is Wednesday, I almost got a Whopper. I could eat a Whopper every Wednesday for the rest of my natural existence. But I mean, we haven't had a nice Mac on this channel in a while. Once again, rando dando impromptu were ooh and a boot, according to my Canuck accent, you know what it is, but it's a bluebird out. Check it, we're rolling down the hot streets of this dope ass area, <laughs> if you'd like to consider it as such. But uh, it's a nice day out. I think I need some McD's on my mind. And uh, we're gonna grab some of that and then pull up to the waterfront with ya and check out uh, a nice little picnic in the truck out front of the waterfront area with all the nice natural land masses and everything you know. So I have been craving Max for like a week. I'm ready to hit it. It's a beauty there. Figure we got a couple things. Head down, eat in front of the waterfront, just have a good old time. But here we are, we're rolling in. Mac attacks on purpose. Here we go, we're getting ready to go. Line looking not too bad. Let's get her going. Oh shit. This is a tight drive through. Tight on the wall. VV tight on the wall. I'm debating if I should try something new on top of just getting a Mac, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe revisit a classic, maybe a McGangbang. I can help you. Hey, uh, can I get a number one combo uh, with the fries as a poutine, please? Yeah, what's the drink? Just a bottle of water. Yeah. And then can I also get a McDouble? For sure. And a junior chicken. Add tomato, please. Yeah, it's everything. That's it. Perfect. She's going to be uh, 963. Cheers. Thank you. Got her done. I almost went. They have a new uh, quarter pounder that's like a Western with crispy onions and shit, but I had to go for the McGangbang. I haven't had a McGangbang in so... Oh, you hear that? We're rubbing tires. We're squeaking. We're hitting rubber. I haven't had a McGangbang in so, so long, so took over the crave. Is what it is. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, Nick Thanks. Oh. That could have been bad. Almost reversed into the car behind me. I overshot the first window. Spot number one. Can I, uh, can I just get a few ketchup and a McChicken sauce? I'll give you right now. Thank you so much. Uh oh, we gotta pull up into the special guy territory. Try not to scrape my my wheels here. This area is tight. She gave me lots of catchy and sauce though. Many, <laughs> many ketchups and a couple mayos. She is very plentiful with the sauce. We like that. All right, special sack delivery. Onward and upward to the blue skies and the waterfront views. Let's go. All right, we're taking her high, everybody. We're going high today. High for the view. Where do we go? Pull it right here. Kill some seagulls by accident on the way in. But we got a good view. And we got all of the garbage bins, recycling bin and all that shit. Right there for us. There she is. We got the view. The harbor view. Right? Told you it was a beauty up. Real nice. Real nice light. All right. Everybody else parked here getting their grub on. Maybe, oh, we got a full window open. I think I'm just gonna go for a little, little half ski, a little, little on that side. Oh, no, we're gonna turn, tune out those gulls. We don't want the gulls. Gotta get a thumbnail and then we'll get to eating. Okay, we got the Mac, no special extras. Usually I get some sauce or some lettuce extras, but today I wanna see 
I wanted to put to the test how nice does just the standard Mac come. That's what I wanted to know. Junior chicken for a McGangbang deconstruction. McDouble as the housing unit for that. And then I went crazy and got the poutine, of course. Feeling a poutine today. Should be a dream meal. First things first, decondom the fork. Next things next, check, check that we're recording. All right, double, triple check. All right, here's how it's going down. Poutine, get it while it's hot. We're gonna catch up it real quick. Up close and Percy for you on the poutine minus the ketchup. But then we go in with the ketchup, of course. And we just listen to that nature's song, that nature's call. Do you hear it? Those gulls? Steven Seagal's. I'm just going crazy out there because everybody around me, down low, right beside, this way, it's a feeding frenzy around here for both humans and seagulls they're trying to mukbang i'm trying to mukbang we're all trying to mukbang okay poutine with ketchup oh yeah you already know amaze Gotta get it when it's steaming. Out of the fryer. Mm. Say this, this part of my city beautiful to the point where you see this and you go man that looks like an amazing place to live it can be deceiving but all along the waterfront amazing unfortunately it's only like this a couple months of the year the rest is just frizzed like Frizzed, frigid frozen tundra. Like, not even a month ago, this was all a winter wasteland, which has its own beauty to it as well. But day to day, Gets gloomy, gets to you. But when it's nice out here, it is nice out here. The inner city, especially on one side, the side that I live on, gets a little Shelbyville, a little sketch. This is definitely the nicer side of the city. What can I say? Starving, poutine, perfect. Crushed. All right, cleanse the palate. I just been, I just tend to go waters these days. I just feel like I don't need that extra carbonation when I gotta pretty big meal in front of me that's probably gonna fill me up all right what's next mcgangbang or big mac what which one do i save the, savor the flavor on the big mac and go last or do i eat it now when i'm top tier hungry i think i answered my own question right there let's get the mac when it's super fresh super hot so right off top you know initially looking a little a little janky bit of a toss together let's see what a little doctorization does we have an excess cheese flap that's for sure happening 
and the uh, the lettuce looks pretty pretty regular not sparse per se but definitely pretty regular but you know standard Big Mac not gonna look exceptionally amazing but it will taste I think exceptionally amazing Mm-hmm. It's not the magic. Ratios are just right. Mm. Not too saucy, not too crazy. Going down quick. Should have got two. Maybe swing back for a dessert Mac. Who knows? No. After that, I'll be sm smash. So say this. Go to my community tab. Um, subscribe response request came in saying other people, Steph and Tash, are doing like trying their subscribers uh, specific subs. And somebody hit me up being like, yo, you should do this. So I put it up on the community tab. I'm gonna pick, I think maybe four or five, six inches. And I'm gonna try like four or five different subs unique to you guys that I've never had. <clears throat> Maybe rate them, rank them. See if I can be converted. To a new delicious sub that I never thought about. And I'm also gonna read the name of the person, like who I pick. So go ahead up my, my community tab and put yours in. So I have lots of options to pick from. Please and thanks. Okay, straight up, that Mac went down a little too smooth. Very, very good. Fresh, V fresh. All right, let's go ahead and construct this McGangbang. We got McDouble right here. Just a basic single slice of cheese, double cheeseburger. What you're gonna wanna do then, if you never had one of these, is you're gonna wanna undo the burger as such, right? Open up the middle. Then what you do is say, hey Seagull, get off my truck. Look at this guy, look at the audacity. Look at the audacity, just dancing for me, eh bud? Looking for a snack? No, not this, no, 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 no. Well, maybe scraps later. These guys out here, no manners. Okay, Junior Chickadee D D D D. Pop the top, get rid of one layer of bun. So I'm gonna keep the mayo, tomato, and lettuce. Chicken, boom, in the middle. This patty on that. So kind of like a Big Mac, but land and air burger, no sea, no fish. Look at this guy, just inching up, getting even closer. What a fucking guy. All right, there it is. McGangbang, big old bite. Let's get nasty with it. This guy really about to come around to my window right now, eh? He's looking me directly in the face. Let's see if I can honk him out. Didn't budge. Was a tiny honk though. All right, let's try this again. Been a minute since I've had one of these. Hmm. 
the junior chicken patty is overpowering. It definitely seems to overpower the whole thing. I feel like I can, I can hardly taste the beef. I don't remember it being like this. Another little heads up on Sunday, I will be releasing uh, a song, music. So if you would please on Sunday, just to click in, even if you don't want to listen to it, I don't like, just please click in, maybe leave a like, maybe share a nice little comment. I don't know, but a click, a click and a like would be greatly appreciated. But I'm going to release that on Sunday. There will be a place where you can go and uh, purchase it for two bucks if you want to support. Also would be greatly appreciated. That said, as per usual with my music, it's a bit of a depressor. <laughs> but it's, it's just speaking real shit about life and like where I'm at and stuff. and Just real emotions, real raw emotions. Trying to uh, tap into the the raw, gritty heart of life, essentially. My buddy's back here. Bro, come on now. Take it easy. It's definitely a bit of a different ambient, low-key crooner. A little bit of rap in it. Definitely some sand. No auto tune. I'm over this. I'm getting hot in here. This guy's bothering me and I'm full. But yeah, pretty cool track though. I like it. Came out really good. Came out really like, like raw. Feels like it would have a good uh, tiny desk feel to it. And I'd be, uh, I'm excited for those who actually really enjoy listening to the things that I release. I'm excited for you guys to hear it and just see what, what kind of feedback comes back. Cause that's, what's cool about music anyways. It's all subjective. Like even if people are like, this is garbage, it's like, fair enough. That's like your opinion. That's your viewpoint. That's your ears. Like, I don't like, like if somebody dropped a metal song, I'd be like, yeah, I don't like this, you know? Cause it's just like, that's not what my ears appreciate. And we all have different ears that appreciate different tonalities and sounds and like it's always good to see the feedback because no matter what it's all positive it's like does this suck well then you kind of think like does it or does it not like you just you adjust in the future or maybe you get good response you'll always have your audience the people that are for you and there's always going to be people out, be people outside of that that aren't for you and they're just that they're not for you they don't belong in your interior core people who actually appreciate and connect with the music that's just that's just the fact of music and content and everything so it doesn't really matter everything's like subjective anyways like it doesn't really matter who is down with what it's just a matter of if you have enough people down in your pocket like and that's the pocket that you roll with so anyways rambling but yes i will be dropping that on sunday Feels like an appropriate day for it. Sunday is usually a, I equate Sunday to being a very like lax, chill, low key, kind of that style vibe of energy on a Sunday usually. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna release it done. Mid afternoon. And maybe I'll go live before it for like, I don't know, 45 minutes or half hour and just talk to people and then have it release. And uh, yeah, so anyways. Once again, impromptu community tabs, subway, leave your responses, Sunday, dropping the song, possibly alive before it. And uh, this meal was pretty banger. Hope you guys enjoyed the view. 
Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.